All right, everybody, welcome to another free pronunciation class from Connect English. We are here today at the La Jolla campus of Connect English with an excellent group of students from many different countries who are uh, attending the class in person in our school in San Diego. But of course, we're going to have many, many people watching the class and participating on Facebook Live video. So we're going to start the class by saying uh, the, the countries where everybody is from. And then also, if you are watching on Facebook, type in, hi from Taiwan. Hi from uh, Sicily, Italy. Okay. Hi from uh, Marrakesh, Morocco. Type it into the comments uh, because it's really interesting to see where all of our students are watching from. Let's introduce everybody here. We've got Calvin from the USA. He is a UC San Diego student who is here in the, he's in the linguistics program at UCSD. And he is here today to learn from Connect English. He's uh, awesome. He has helped us out in a lot of classes. We have Pepper from Taiwan. We have uh, Sokja from, from which country? Korea. Excellent. Okay. And Jingru, which country? China. From China. Excellent. And Luke, you're from China, from Hong Kong, right? China. From China. Okay. Esma from <laughs> Turkey? Yes. Okay. Sorry. And then Hongsik from uh, South Korea? Okay. Dimitri from Kazakhstan? Okay. Excellent. Ana Laura from Italy, right? Okay. And then uh, Nami from Japan? And Emily from China as well. Okay. So we have a mix of students from so many different countries. Uh, it makes an excellent class to have all of these different languages together at Connect English. So again, type in the comments, uh, hello from your city, hello from your country, hello from uh, your region. It's okay, I just want to know where you're from, it's really cool. So I want to give a shout out uh, to Jessica, it's Jessica's birthday today. Happy birthday Jessica, I hope you're watching and I hope you're having an excellent day. All right, let's talk about the two rules of my... Pro oh, we have to say hi world to everybody. Before we say hi world, if you're watching, type in happy birthday Jessica in the comments, okay? <laughs> type in the comments, happy birthday Jessica. Okay, we're going to say hi world. You guys ready? One, two, three. Hi, hi world. Happy birthday, Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday, Jessica. Okay, excellent. All right, uh, then let's start with the two rules of my pronunciation class. Rule number one is, rule number one is what? Speak English. Yes, of course. Okay, rule number two then is? Uncross. Thank you, Dimitri. Uncross your arms. Anami, uncross them, okay? Because I want you to feel the good pronunciation, okay? It's important to... Be loose, be ready to feel it, because in my pronunciation class, I want you to stop focusing on what you hear, start focusing on how it feels, Ooh, ah, ah, uh, uh, when you make the sounds. How it feels is very important, okay? All right, and then rule number three then today, okay, after speaking English and uncrossing your arms, rule number three, don't worry about mistakes. Mistakes happen. When you make mistakes with your pronunciation, it's an opportunity to learn, okay? So it's okay to make some mistakes. I'm gonna help you, your classmates will help you. It's not a problem to make mistakes, so don't worry about being the perfect student. The perfect student still makes mistakes, okay? All right, so let's talk about the activity today. We're gonna do the pronunciation telephone, our most popular activity. Why did I select these 10 words? Why these 10? What's that? Ten numbers. Ten numbers? Yes, but why these words specifically? Same sound. Same sound or similar sound. Same. Yeah, many students say they're the same, but in fact they're similar. A little difference in the sound makes a big difference in the meaning. So it's important to focus on the little differences to become a clear speaker of English. Of course, also, everybody remember, please share the class. If you're watching on Facebook, click the share button. Give it to all of your friends to learn as well. It's a free class, a free opportunity to speak English better, so share. Okay, these are similar words. A little difference in the sound makes a big difference in the meaning, and so it's important to focus on the little details and feel the little differences. Let's start over here. What does this verb mean? What is this? What does it mean? We see it on the internet a lot, right? Yeah, what does it mean? Research. It, it's related to research, yeah. What's that? 
find. To find. It's related to find, okay? You search, you're looking for something. Um, where is that? Where's my, oh, there's my pen. Okay, so to search. We search for information on the internet. If someone's boat sinks in the ocean, then we go out there in helicopters to search for people, okay? We also can um, search for uh, things to do on the weekends, etc. okay? This one is when we say, um, when we say, oh, it's such a big problem. It's a big problem. It means it's very, it's really a big deal, okay? So let's go with this one first, search. For this one, we're going to push our lips forward and open. Pepper, you're doing it really well. Good job. Not me. Good job. This one's like early and first. Okay. Let me show the camera here. Everybody watching around the world, this one is er, er, er. Search. So you want your lips forward and open. Er. A lot of students accidentally do ah, ah, and that's not it. It's not ah, it's not such. It's er, search. Er, er. Okay. Okay, Jingle, give it a try. Search. Yes. Really good job with the lips forward. Very good. Okay. And uh, Sokja, give it a try. Judge. Search. Judge. Good. I saw the lips forward and open. Very good. Calvin, can you do it for us? Search. He's really good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And allow your turn for search. Search. Very good job. I saw the lips forward and open. Er, er, er. Like earth and birthday. Dimitri, try it for me. Search. Good job. I saw the lips do the right thing there. Er, er, er. Esma, try it. Search. Search. Good job with the lips forward and open. Okay. And uh, Hongsik, try it for me. Search. Really good, but push your lips more forward. Er. Search. It's getting better. Okay, good job. I can see you're pushing the lips. Good work. Search. Just not ah. It's not sock. Ah. No, it's er, er, er. Yeah, good job. Luke, try it for me. Search. Good. All right, Nami, try it. Search. Mm, you're doing the smile version. I want lips forward and open. That's better. Search. That's better. Good work. Okay, now let's do this one. This is my favorite sound to teach. Are you guys ready for this? Everybody put your fist in the air. Are you ready? Everybody do it. Get it ready. Okay. And Hong Sik, you're going to have to move your backpack so you can do the motion, okay? You got that backpack protecting you. That's a good idea, okay? <laughs> good idea. Everybody get that fist ready. This one is... Uh, such! Yeah, Dimitri, good job with the ah uh, sound. Yeah, it's such a hot day. It is such a hot day. Oh, man. Okay, she is such a good teacher, okay? It means really good example, okay? So if, if, if Emily is such a good student, it means she's a great example of a great student, okay? All right, Pepper, give me such. Such. Yeah, I heard the pressure in your voice. That's really important. That pressure matters, okay? Esma, try it. Such. Such. That's right. Oh, I forgot to give you guys something before the start of class. There's one of these for everybody. Take these, pass them around. These are your notes papers. So I see that Esma is taking notes there. That's really good. Okay. Take some notes, okay? We're going to use these note papers right here so students can write down some notes. They can even write down similar sounds in their own language, okay? It's okay to do that, but stay focused on feeling the difference. Uh, 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 such! Okay. Yeah, Costco has such good pizza. Okay. Yeah, it is so good. It is such good pizza. Such is for nouns. So is for adjectives. Okay. Such a fun time. Okay. Because you're talking about the time. Such as is another uh, way to do an example. Okay. I have. I like card games such as blackjack. I like card games such as poker, okay? It's when you're giving examples of something that you're going to have a category of things. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So everybody has to feel that pressure in the stomach. I'm especially impressed with Dimitri. You are, na Russian is your native language or Kazakh? Yes, Russian. Russian, exactly. And it's all difficult sound for Russian speakers frequently. The uh, uh, uh. It does not exist in Russian language. So it's really important to feel it, and he did. He did a great job, okay? Uh, let's go back to uh, Sokcha. Give me such. Such. Good job. <laughs> so good. So good. 
I saw when she did it, her head moved a little bit because she's doing the pressure. Ah, uh, it's very important to feel it today. Okay, really important to. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, and let's all go back to the easy one here with our lips forward and open. Search. Uh, 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 no pressure for that one, right? No pressure down here. Er, 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 like early and birthday and earth. Okay, search. No pressure. This one though needs some pressure. Ah. Uh, He's such a good student, okay? She's such a good athlete, okay? So, all right. So for this one, the pressure is important. And many students ask me, Nick, do I really have to say, ah, when I do these? <laughs> yeah, no, okay, no. You just have to put some pressure, okay? Such, such. such. Luke, you're doing it, good job. Just some pressure, such. such. Yeah, it's such an important such. sound, okay? Such. You don't need to say such every time. People will say, do you need a bathroom? Are you okay? Right? So this one you need to do just a little pressure. Such. Such. Punk sick try for me. Such. One more time. Such. I want more pressure here. Such. It's getting better. Okay, I hear it. Such. Okay, pepper try for me. Such. Such. Yeah, really good. Okay, let's do it as a class together. One, two, three. Such. Such. Okay, and then this one here with the lips forward and open, search. Such. Good. Can you feel the difference between er, 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 search, and uh, 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 such? Feel the difference. Okay, some students say, Nick, I don't really hear the difference. That's okay, but if you practice feeling the difference, you're going to become a better speaker. Okay, the next one, what does this one mean? Yeah, what does that mean? Yeah, yes. you got it, Ana Laura. Who are some examples of people with blonde hair? Examples. Yeah. Marilyn Monroe was a good example. Britney Spears also. Um, and then even men with, well, if men have blonde hair, it's just with a D, but it's the same sound. If a man has blonde hair, it's just a D. Like Brad Pitt has, you know, darker blonde hair. But for this is with the E, that's for women, okay? And so Marilyn Monroe is a perfect example of a blonde, okay? This one is a new vocabulary word. Does anyone know what bland means? Bland? Anyone know bland? <laughs> of course, Calvin knows. What does it mean, Calvin? It's tasteless. Yeah, no taste, no flavor, not exciting, very boring, okay? So for example, uh, tortilla of Mexican food. Tortilla is kind of bland, okay? It's just bread, right? But if you put some beans and some meat and some salsa, it's pretty good, okay? Other bland food, for example, is rice. Rice is bland, but if you put some meat and some sauce, it becomes delicious, okay? So bland means no flavor, okay? Let's talk about the differences. For this one here, blonde, everybody put up one finger. Put one finger up, please, okay? And touch right here, ah, ah, ah. Blonde, ah, blonde, blonde. Like clock and soft. And walk, okay? Blah. Easy sound, right? It comes from right here. Okay? Blah. This one takes two fingers. Everybody, please put up two fingers. Touch here. Ah, ah, ah. It's still from the back, but from the sides. Ah, ah, ah. Bland. This food is bland. Ah. Okay? If you say, for example, that a girl is bland, it means that she is boring. She has no personality. She's not a fun person. She just wants to study all day. She never goes out and has fun with her friends. When she talks to people, she's very boring. She is bland. So we have to be very careful about the difference between these two. If you say that she is a blonde girl, okay, ah, 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 she's a blonde girl, okay, it means that she has light yellow hair, like Marilyn Monroe. If you say she is a bland girl, that's an insult. Like, ooh, she's bland. Ooh, that means she's boring, okay? She is a boring person, no personality, okay? So we have to be very careful with the pronunciation differences here, okay? Very careful with the pronunciation. Okay, so as a class, let's do it one time to practice. Everybody put up that one finger and touch here. One, two, three, blah. 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 And one, two, three, two fingers, bland. Bland. Yeah, bland. good job. Dimitri, try this one for me. Give me bland. bland. Good, and now Dimitri, give me blonde. blonde. Really good blonde. job. I heard the difference, blonde. okay? All right, Luke, your turn for blonde. 
Long. Very good. And now bland. bland. Very good. I really heard the difference there. Good job, dude. Okay, let's go to uh, Sokja. Can you give us the two fingers here? Bland. Bland. Really good. And now give us the one finger, blonde. Blonde. Really good job. I can hear the difference. Ana Laura, your turn for blonde. Blonde. And now bland. Bland. Really good work. You guys are doing great. One more time as a class. Blonde. 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 And bland. 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 Yeah. Bland. Okay, next one. Let's go to, uh, what does this mean right here? Oh. Yeah, you got it. Okay. If you have a uh, uh, kitchen. Yeah. And there's uh, if you spill something on the floor accidentally, you need to use that thing. So it's not to sweep. It's just when you use water to clean the floor yeah. with that thing, that is to mop. 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 Okay. Mop. And that uses the same sound as blonde. Okay. Yeah. Mop and blonde. So touch right here. Mop. 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 Yeah. Mop. mop. Esma, give it a try. Mop. 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 Really good. Okay. Uh, Nami, give it a try. Mop. I'm gonna sneeze. Huh. Okay. All right. I'm allergic to mopping. Okay. All right. Let me one more time. Mop. mop. Really good. Sounds great. Okay. This one is a new verb. Does anyone know what this verb means? Calvin probably knows. Okay. Anyone know this verb? This is when you feel sad, and you just like if your favorite team loses the championship for a couple days after. You're like. This is the verb to mope. Okay, mope. mope. Yeah, you got it. Okay, and Jingru, that was really good. I saw you do it perfectly. So you'll be a good example. Everybody, put up one finger for this verb and touch your nose and your lip and pull them down. Oh, yeah, Jingru, you did it. You did it perfectly. Good job. I'm gonna show the camera this one here. This one's oh, oh, oh. Think about your lip covering your teeth. Oh, mope. Okay. So if your team loses the championship and you're like, oh man, I was really cheering for Real Madrid and they lost. And your mom says, stop moping. Be happy. Okay. Be happy. Don't mope. Oh, oh, oh. Mope. Okay. All right. Let's go to Luke. From, can you say it for us? Mope. Mope. Yeah. Pull the lip down more. Oh, yeah. Mope. Oh. That's really good. Good oh. job. Hongsik, try it for me. Pull that lip down. Mope. Really good job. That's perfect. Okay, and allow mope. Mope. Now give us mop. Mop. Yeah, do you feel the difference between mope and mop? You gotta think about your lip, think about your nose going down. Oh. I like to call this the itchy nose sound. If you're going to sneeze, right? Like I did. Ah, ah, ah. And then you don't sneeze. You go, oh. Oh, oh, mope, okay? Don't mope, be happy, okay? Don't mope, okay? And then back to the easy one here, to clean the floor with liquid with that tool. Mop, ah, 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 like sock and officer and operate, okay? All right, let's do it as a class, everybody. One, two, three, mop. Mop. And now lip down, nose down, mope. Really good, I can hear the difference. Good work, everybody. Let's start over here with this one now. Oh, I need to add something here. I'll put an L. It needs to be a T. Okay. Didn't finish it. This one is, of course, one foot but two feet. Okay. I have two feet. Okay. And I'm dancing now. Right. So feet is pretty easy. Okay. With this one here, think about your front teeth. Okay. Okay. Think about your front teeth right here. Imagine these are your front teeth. Okay. All right. And for the, think about the top of your mouth right here. Okay, and your tongue is high in your mouth. Think about your tongue, and just a little bit of air is leaving your mouth. Close your eyes for a moment. Your tongue is high in your mouth. Not a lot of air. Your tongue is touching the top of your mouth a little bit. It's easy to say feet. Yeah, easy sound. That exists in every language. It exists in Korean. It exists in Turkish. It exists in Italian. E -e -e. Okay? All right. So then this next one, though, if my clothes are the right size, my clothes are correct. They're not too big. They're not too small. Okay? Maybe my pants are too big now. Right? 
So this one here is the same situation. Think about your teeth. Okay. 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 Think about your teeth. Okay. Good. Perfect. Okay. Think about the top of your mouth. But now your tongue is low. And breathe out more. Fit. 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 So you need to open more and breathe out. Yeah, you got it. So, John, that's perfect, okay? I can really hear that you're opening up and you're breathing out. Good job. Fit. Yeah. So you can say, for example, this, these shoes fit my feet, okay? These shoes fit my feet. It's the right size. Look, perfect, okay? These shoes fit my feet. Okay? Dimitri, try this for us. Give us the low tongue, lots of air. Fit. Really good. I can hear the low tongue. Luke, try it for me. Fit. Really good. I saw you open up and breathe out. Esme, your turn for fit. Really good. But open a little more. I like that. Much better. Okay. And uh, Hongsik, try it for us. Low tongue, breathe out. Fit. Really good job. That's great. Pepper, your turn for fit. Really good job. Calvin, can you do it for us? Fit. Yeah, this guy's pretty good. Okay. All right, I'm allowed on your turn for fit. Fit. Really good job. Breathe out, low tongue, lots of air. Back to this one, everybody together. Feet. Feet. Yeah. Easy. Your tongue is high, then this one's more difficult. It's fit. Okay. And hey, here's a question. How do we pronounce my name? Is my name Meek? Meek. No. Nick. 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 Low tongue, breathe out. My name is Nick. Nick. Fit. Nick wears clothes that fit. Okay. When I was a young kid, when I was in high school, Nick didn't wear clothes that fit. My clothes were way too big, but that was kind of the style in the 1990s. Everybody wore shirts and pants that were too big. Okay. So, let's practice as a class. Low tongue, breathe out, everybody. Fit. Fit. And now high tongue, feet. Feet. That's right. Okay. Now, the next one, we have to be really careful with the difference between these. They could cause some confusion. This one is just more of a word stress method <coughs> to help us be more clear. When, um, when you are at a restaurant and you say, excuse me, how much does the chicken, uh, the chicken sandwich cost? They'll say, oh, the chicken sandwich is $15. What? Okay, even native speakers have difficulty with understanding. Calvin, have you ever gotten confused about the difference? Yeah, even native speakers have some difficulty with this. It's always going to be difficult. But if you use this word stress, syllable stress way, it'll help you get clear information. Did you say... $50 for the sandwich or $15 for the sandwich? The cashier or the waiter will serve, will, will respond to you and say, oh, $15 for the sandwich. Because a lot of students are trying to hear the N. No, 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 no. You're not going to hear it very easily. So it's really important to focus on the stress. This one is, of course, we don't use accent marks in English. I wish we did. This one is 50 with the strong first syllable, okay? 50. Okay. Everybody say it with me. 50. 50. Yeah, strong first syllable. 50 dollars. Yeah, this one, if you're trying to be clear with somebody, put the stress on the last syllable. 15. No, no, I said 15 friends are coming to the party. Oh, okay. 15 friends is a small party. 50 friends is a big party. Okay. So, Pepper, how many people would you invite to your house for a party? This or this? 15. Yeah, that's better. 15 people at your house 15. is a fun little party with good friends. But if those friends invite more friends, uh-oh, then we have 50 people at the house and there's not enough beer, okay? So uh-oh, problems. And my house isn't big enough for 50 people. Let's practice it individually. Let's go to Luke. Can you give us 50? 15. Good job. And Luke, give us 15. 15. Good job. Dimitri, your turn for 15. 15. Good. And 50. 50. Good job. Nami, your turn for 50. 50. Good job. And 15. 15. Emily, your turn for 15. 15. Good. And 50. 50. Jingru, give it a try. 15. 15. Good.
good. And 50. 50. Really good job. I can hear the differences really well. Hunk said, give it a try. Give us 50. 50. Good job. And now 15. 15. Really good work. You're not always going to hear that difference when native English speakers say it. Even Calvin and I, we even have some problems with hearing the difference. So when you get confused, you say, what? Did you say $50 or $15? The person will respond to you and say, oh, <laughs> yeah, $15 for the hat. Oh, that's a good price. Okay. So just remember to change the syllable stress in order to make it clear when you're communicating with somebody. Okay. All right, let's review all of them together. Before we do, everybody, if you're watching, please share the class. Totally free. Everybody around the world can learn. All right, let's start here with this one. Remember, everybody, lips forward and open. Err. Search. Search. Very good. And now this one here, put up your fist. Oh, oh. Such. Such. Really good job. I can hear the pressure that you guys are using. Such. Okay, well, let's go to this one with the two fingers up. This one is bland. 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 Yeah, she's bland. She has no fun. She has no personality. She's bland, okay? Bland. This one, single finger, blonde. Blonde. Blonde is just the color of her hair, okay? So there's a big difference between blonde and bland. If you say, oh, she's blonde, no, that's a good thing, okay? If you say she's bland, that's bad, okay? She's saying, I'm bland? Oh no, I'm a boring person? <laughs> right? So be cautious, be careful, okay? Alright, next one here, single finger again, mop. Mop. Good. And now this one here, pull your nose and lip down, mop. Mop. And remember, mop is just. <laughs> I lost the game. Now I'm, I'm not the champion. I'm gonna mop. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, okay. And so, John, that's really good. I can see that you're pulling the nose and the lip down. Oh, 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 really good. Okay, next one here. This is the easy one. High tongue, feet. Feet. Yeah, and now low tongue, breathe out. Feet. Really good. Okay, next one. Let's do the, the, the lower number. Fifteen. Fifteen. Fifty. Fifty. Okay, all right. I'm going to give you all a telephone number, okay? I'm going to give everybody a telephone number. So get a pen or pencil and paper. But I'm not going to say the number. I am going to say the word. So for example, if I say blonde, that means write down number three. If I say 50, that means write down number eight. If I say search, it means write down number two. Okay? I'm going to give you guys my friend Brian's phone number when I was growing up. Okay? Brian lived in Oregon. I lived in Northern California. I would call him frequently, and I still do. Brian and I have now been friends for 33 years. So since I was five years old, we're still friends. If you're watching, Brian, hope you're doing well. Okay, so here comes Brian's phone number. Y'all ready? <clears throat> okay, Brian's phone number is Mo. Fit. Mope. Blonde. Mop. Mop. Again. Fit. Blonde. Mom. Okay. Nami, what do you think? What's Brian's phone number? His old phone number. That's right. She got it. Okay, I'm going to turn off the fan now so we can hear everybody a little bit better. Okay, nice job, Nami. That was a very good one. Great. Okay. Now I want to get your phone number. Okay, either your phone number in the USA or maybe your phone number from when you were a child or maybe mom or dad's office phone number. Any phone number you remember from your country or from the USA. And I want you to give your phone number using good pronunciation. Luke, can you do it? Maybe. Maybe. I know you're going to try your best. You always do. Okay, let me get my paper ready here. 
So are you going to give us your phone number in the USA or your phone number back in China? What do you think? China. Okay, sounds good. All right, everybody, listen carefully. We're going to, uh, let me close the door so we can hear well. Nice and quiet now. Okay. So remember, Luke, speak loudly, slowly, and clearly for us. Okay? All right, here we go. Nice and clear. Good work. Okay, who's feeling good about Luke's phone number? Esma, you feeling confident? I'm not sure. But let's try it. What do you think? What is, so Luke, listen carefully. Esma's going to say what she thinks is your phone number. Go ahead, Esma. One, three, six, three, three, one, seven, nine, zero. Is that it? Uh-huh. All right. First try. One, three, six, three, three, one, seven, nine, zero. Again, yeah. One three six three three one seven nine zero. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Blanc. 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 Was that what? Emily. Emily, don't speak English only in class. English only. Okay. All right, Luke. What is your phone number? Tell us. What is it? One three three six. No, your number. <laughs> don't look at your friend's paper. What's your number? Sorry, I'm get the. <laughs> Luke, English only, bro. Three, six, three, three, one, seven, two, nine, zero. Oh, you forgot the two. Yes. I think we forgot the two, but everything else was clear. So it was one three six three three one seven two nine zero, but we forgot the two. But everything else was nice and clear. So good job, Luke. Yeah, okay, you. let's go to Dimitri. Dimitri, can we get your phone number either here or back in Kazakhstan? Your choice. But remember, speak it loudly, slowly, and clearly. All right, so everybody listen carefully. Stop the side conversations. Let's get focused. Okay, here we go. Good luck, Dimitri. Such. Nice. Land. Nice. Victim. Such. Land. Two times. Yeah. Wrong. Okay. Third. Nice. Mark. Can you repeat that one? Mark. Okay. Mark. Okay. Okay. Complete? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Who's feeling good? Emily, what is it? What do you think? Seven, zero, eight. That's exactly what I have. Is that it? Yes. Nice. Good job, Dimitri. Good job, Emily. Really good. What's up, Chris? Uh, we have a couple of Mission Valley students who are a little late. They can come they on in for the... How about this? For the second part. We're going to okay. start the second part in a couple minutes. Okay. Cool. Okay, yeah. 7087-011-316. Yeah. Dimitri, good job. Welcome to the class, dude. Okay. Any other volunteers? We'll do one more volunteer. Any volunteers? Esma. Okay. All right, Esma, remember, speak loudly, slowly, and clearly, okay? All right, here we go. Everybody listen carefully. Good luck, Esma. Mo. What? Well, can you start again? Mo. Mm-hmm. Long. Fifteen. Fifteen. Third. Feet. 
plant search feed long great loud and clear i like it all right jingru what do you think what's esma's phone number I have one difference. One difference? Okay, all right. Pepper, what did you hear, brother? Five Ah, some differences at the end, too. I think there's three differences, I think, right? Yes. Yeah. And Laura, what did you hear? Oh, 53992402. That's what I heard also. Five three nine nine two four zero two four three. Two four three. Yes, and with two four three, you yes. got it. Five three nine nine two four zero two four three. Yes. All right, nice work. Mm -hmm. Okay, really good job. This was difficult at first, but you made it very clear. Mo, good job with this. I think a lot of students said, Mo, and then you said it again. It was nice and clear. Mo, 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 which means to walk around, feel all <laughs> sad. Okay. And great job with bland and blonde. Really clear, that's a good job. And your search was really good too. Er, er, er. Okay, I think one more. Emily wanted to volunteer. Emily, you want to do it? Yeah. Okay, remember, speak loudly, slowly, and clearly, Emily. Here we go, everybody, listen carefully. So, Luke, hold on the conversation, okay? Yeah. Can you repeat that one? Loud. Okay, all right. Land. Yeah, good. Feet. Fifty. Okay. Finished. Finished. Nice and clear, Emily. Good job. Okay, let's go to um, Hongsik. What did you hear, man? Four, five, six, four, eight, six, five. Ooh, I have one difference, but good job. Was it one difference? Yeah. One difference. Okay. All right. Let's go to uh, Luke. What did you hear? Same, Same as what Hong Sik heard, huh? Okay. Nami, what did you hear? Four five five four eight six five three zero four eight. Okay. I have two differences from that also. Emily, what is your phone number? Can you say it for us? Okay, but let's say the, just say the numbers and we'll check them together. Ah, so the ones and the fours were the difficult. Everything else was really clear, but let's practice one and four, okay? Remember that for four, we need the high tongue feet. Give it a try. That's it. But for this one, for number one, low tongue fit. Better. And low tongue, breathe out more. That's it, fit. These shoes fit really well. They fit my feet, okay? So the difference is the high tongue or the low tongue. And many students say, Nick, I don't hear the difference. That's okay. When you're learning this sound, it's gonna be difficult to hear the difference. So it's very important to think about your tongue uh, low in your mouth. Uh, fit, these shoes fit. So instead of trying to hear it, focus on the low tongue and breathing out, okay? All right, let's do a quick review of them and then we'll end the class. We didn't get to practice this one. Nobody had a seven in their phone number. I'm so sad. Okay, we're gonna put your fist up. One, two, three, search. Search. And er, 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 search. Search. Good, this one here, ah, 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 blonde. Blonde. Like Marilyn Monroe, and bland, bland, okay? This one here, clean the floor with water, mop. 
Mom. You got it, Juno. Good job. This one here, pull your nose and your lip down when you feel sad. Oh, mo. Oh, oh. Yeah, good job, Hongsik. I saw it. Good work. This one here, this is the most difficult one, probably. Low tongue, breathe out, fit. Right. And now, high tongue, this is easy, feet. Feet. Good job. And then the bigger number has the stress on the early syllable, 50. 15. And the lower number has the stress on the later syllable, 15. 15. Okay, nice work, everybody. I think that's the end of the first part of class today. I'm going to pick up the camera and tell everybody, thank you for watching the free pronunciation class on Facebook with Connect English. We do this every week on Wednesday, and you are always welcome to join us. We always end our class with a nice ceremony. Everybody, please put your arm forward like this. Everybody, do it. Put your arm forward, okay? Turn your hand like this and pat yourself on the back, okay? Everybody, do it. Pat yourself on the back. Oh, good work today, okay? Very good. Okay, we're going to finish the class and say bye, world, to everybody. You guys ready to say bye, world? One, two, three. Bye, bye world. Okay. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next week. Have a great day, and thank you for participating.